In the words of a great country song, you sometimes you just gotta know when to hold them, and you gotta know when to fold them. And uh, when it's time to say bye, it's time to say bye, right or wrong. So as you guys know, uh, I came home because I've got some big changes that are about to take place. And uh, this is the start of that video. And it's a little bit late in the day. I hope I can get done today what I need to get done, but uh, I've gotta, gotta clean some stuff out. So, uh, I mean, just gotta get to it. I'm sure you can probably see my head glistening. <laughs> I've worked up quite the sweat. Um, have an issue, have an issue. I have gotten all of these bolts broken on this side and uh, you saw me get those other two broken. Uh, it was such a pain to get. This U-bolt in the back over there on the passenger side, as you can see my air dryer unit is right there and because that was sitting right there, I think it was that, that uh, you know, I had to place that U-bolt uh, the way that it is and unfortunately uh, one of those bolts on the other side is just it's so it's so mucked up i've soaked it in pb blaster and uh it's just not working so i'm gonna have to cut that u-bolt off and uh, that kind of sucks i'm gonna have to buy another u-bolt so i uh, i mean it is what it is i'm 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 committed i'm committed to doing this so anyway call down call in some reinforcements and we're gonna cut that off and then we're gonna have lots of fun moving this so enjoy <laughs> 35 minutes later. Well, it was kind of a kind of a shit show, but got it done. It's just gonna live there for now. Uh, running out of daylight though, got some family things that I'm gonna do. Gotta figure out what I'm gonna do with the equipment. Had ideas of standing that up and leaving that here, but uh, after further consultation, I don't think that's a good idea. I don't, I'm not crazy about that idea. So probably just gonna take all that home and uh, Move on to other things. All right, all right, all right. Still in Texas. Welcome back. It's been a few seconds for you. It's been a couple days for me. Over here north of Fort Worth. And yeah, you guessed it. I'm up here picking up a, uh, picking up a trailer. Because if you can't beat them, join them. <laughs> I'm gonna post. I'm gonna post the, uh, the DAT trend lines and take a look at that. And, and, and that is actually like freight has come down a little bit, and, and open deck didn't really drop all that much. But the price of, uh, of drive-in and the price of reefer actually dropped a little bit from previous weeks uh, on this picture here. So, you know, I'm gonna give it a shot. Why not? You know, why not? Winter time is definitely the time to be doing it. It's just sitting there. It is just sitting there. If you know, kind of the game plan. Well, I'm not gonna spoil it. Oh, ramp closed ahead. Cool. That's the ramp that I need. Check 
this out as I go by. Go straight. 
straight in. Lucky him. So far, so good. We're in the right spot. That's a good thing. That's a good thing. Oh man, I didn't kick myself off drive. Concerned about this actually. Actually, uh, so the rest of the good news is one of the drivers was in there and he overheard me. You know, here to pick up, uh, here to pick up an empty trailer. And uh, he said there should be a bunch of them back there. Well, I specifically, empty Landstar trailer. So we're going straight ahead, past the red stairs, all of those back there, all those FedEx trailers. Those are all the empties. So, he said there was a whole row of Landstar trailers back here. So I should get my pick. Hopefully we can find a good one. And then if we can find a good one, we'll probably hang on to it for a while. Possibly. Possibly. I've heard that's an issue. Kind of dropping hook. Well, not necessarily dropping hook, but I heard it's an issue. finding a good one and hanging on to a good one. We're gonna come over here to this one over here first. I saw that it is a Landstar, but it has multiple, it does not have multiple. I thought it had multiple. Um, I wish I knew numbers, because generally in numbers kind of signifies like how old the trailer is or whatever, you know? I, would, I didn't really care for the look of the one that we just parked beside. I didn't care for the look that I saw. This one over here looks like it might be all right. Let's go have a look-see. Right. Let's go have us a look. There's one. There are a bunch back here. We can get a twofer right here. This is the one I was eyeballing. Oh man, you know how long it's been since I have checked out trailers. Well. That's good. That's good. It's a good start. Looks fine. Eh. Well, landing gear looks like, I mean, looks fine. Looks like they've over greased it. 
it's not necessary to grease it. Oh man, look at these wheels. The steel wheels. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, it's okay. Mud flaps ripped. Next. needs to be blown out let's see here for good measure yeah it needs to be blown out but it's a little cleaner well, it's got a new mud flap on it two of them so it might be a little bit better taken care of definitely much better much better rubber mixed rubber not a huge fan of that that looks fine. Landing gear looks like it's fine. Side of the trail looks good. These look old. And they are old, of course. Let's see here. Periodic inspection, 1120. And it's a 120 day, this is January. So it's got a couple months left on it. Not terrible. Let's go down this side. It looks okay. I don't know. I mean, it looks all right. Rubber on this side is okay. Forty-one feet. We're gonna be on the forty-foot mark. Oh, this one's not bad. It's not bad. Let's see how dirty is it in here. Let's get up inside and have a look. Because I don't really want to start out bad. Ah, this all looks fine. Just swept out, blown out. I'm gonna have to go buy a uh, a blower, which is fine. Need one anyway. Logistics post every, what, two feet? That could be better. But I'm not gonna complain. Let's go this way here's another one. Oh yeah trash it's not that bad though eh. Eh. rubber looks okay Overall, not bad from all the trailers that I've seen. 1120 also. So that's not bad. Decent rubber on this side. Actually, pretty good rubber on this side. Uh, I think we have a winner here. I think we have us a winner here. Looks like there's less to sweep out. Let's get up and look at this one, too. Ugh. Oh, I'm used to climbing up on that short step deck. <sighs> Little water droplets. What's up with that? Oh, what's this over here? Oh, it's dry, it's just stained. Well, overall, this one's not bad. I 
think we're gonna wind up going with this one here. But we are gonna give the rest of them a courtesy look. This one actually looks newer. This one looks a lot newer, actually. I don't know how to tell. Inside look good, looks good. The wheels are not newer, I can tell you that. Look at that. Interesting. Ah, oh, this one has four on the side. And 1120. I think we're gonna go with this one. Somebody was playing bumper cars with this thing. That needs to be raised up. Tread looks good. Oh, come on. That right there. See how that's splattered all around? Wheel seal's bad. Well, damn it. That was a new one. That was a new one. I was hoping for that one. I was hoping for a new trailer. Oh, it looks like we're not going to get a brand new one. But that's okay. Alright. Finally found one we're going to hook up to. Checked out all the trailers. And we just bumped one. It's a little tug test. Woohoo! We got it. We got it. Um... So I'm curious because here there are two different types of trailers. I saw Vanguards and I saw Hyundais. So you guys that are fellow Landstar peeps, which ones are the better ones to grab? Because I really don't know. Uh, I grabbed a Vanguard because I just remember my buddy saying something like he wanted one. And yes, I know. I need a truck wash. I get it. Oh, wow, dummy. That'd be the wrong one. But, uh... So, if there is a... If there is one that is better than the other, let me know. I'm curious. We're gonna go back here to Party Row and park. Because I don't know if I necessarily want to show off my backing skills just quite yet. I don't know. See how it goes. I can blindside. No, no, no. Don't mistake that. I, have, you know, like the option to blindside is there. That's not what we're gonna do for our first backwards maneuver in a drive-in. <laughs> ah, all right, here we go. Wish me luck. Been a while. And I missed. I missed. Uh, yep, that's why I came back here. Because I didn't need to show this off in front of everybody. <laughs> uh, uh, oh, man. You know, it took me forever to get used to backing up that, uh, that spread axle. One 
pull up? What do you guys think? Well, let's go inside and get our scale ticket there. Uh, it's nice to meet you there, Shilcut. It was a pleasure. It's always a pleasure. Meeting you fine folks out here on the road. That's why I do this. You know, it makes me feel good that, uh, you know, my videos do help some people. So I do appreciate that. I appreciate you guys letting me know. And I appreciate when you guys come over and say hi. So thank you. Well, let's go see what the damage is and uh, see what I can haul around. I'm expecting to do pretty well. So there's the damage. Uh, the only problem with that is I forgot I need fuel and I need fuel bad. So worst case scenario, I put 140 gallons, 140 gallons in the truck. Well, that's probably not gonna happen. So, you know, if you aim high and, uh, and you're wrong, then that's much, much better for you. Because at least you won't be overweight. But, uh, so eight times 140, uh, that's what, uh, 1120 pounds. And, uh, eight is the poundage for, uh, per gallon. And then 140, so 100, that's 800, 320, 800 plus 320. 1120 pounds. So, I can haul 46,000 pounds. Well, I made it over here to Baytown and my pickup is maybe 20 miles away, so kind of ideal. Wish I could have gone home for the night, but really kind of need all the time that I can get for these next two days. It's gonna be some hard running, uh, but the load pays really good, so I'm excited for that first load. But anyway, if you enjoyed it, please hit that like button. Click that subscribe button if you wanna see how this thing's gonna go. I don't know, but we're gonna find out, and uh, you could find out too. So thanks for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you. But as always, stay driven.